Ever since the Romans made spectacular use of it on the Pantheon some 2,000 years ago, we've been trying to find ways to make concrete, the world's most popular building material, more durable. The fact is, all concrete eventually cracks, no matter how carefully it's mixed or reinforced. But now, scientists here in the Netherlands have come up with an entirely new way of giving concrete a longer life. And they found it under the microscope. We have invented bioconcrete. That's concrete that heals itself using bacteria. Professor Henk Jonkers is a microbiologist. In 2006, a colleague came to him with an unusual challenge. He is a concrete technologist, me being more an expert in microbiology. And then he asked me if it would be possible to use bacteria to make concrete self-healing. In just three years, a very fast turnaround in scientific terms, Jonkers had cracked the problem with a special family of bacteria, Bacillus. You need bacteria that can survive the harsh environment of concrete, but also to make them produce repair material for the concrete, and that is limestone. Here at the Delft Technical University, they study concrete stress levels. An old bridge support is tested to breaking point. But Jonkers is interested in the first signs of deterioration, micro cracks as thin as a human hair. If you have cracks, water comes through. If this water gets to the steel reinforcement, if they corrode, the structure collapses. Here the concrete is mixed as it would be on any construction site. Sand, gravel, Portland cement and water are combined. But then they add their special ingredient. This is it, the healing agent. It will not dissolve during the mixing, but only at the case when the concrete cracks and water gets in, it will become active. They add the concrete mix to moulds to create test cubes that they crack to see if their bacteria fill in the gaps. If concrete cracks and water gets in, the water activates the bacteria and starts to make limestone. So the active bacteria make limestone and this limestone fills up the cracks. And that makes the concrete more durable, so extends the surface lifetime. It's as simple as that. Testing in a lab is one thing, but Jonker sought to prove concrete could heal in the outside world. By a lake, a modest lifeguard station, the first building in the world using self-healing concrete. At the start, we came back almost every two or three weeks to see how the process uh, was, was going. And uh, yes, we were really happy to see that it worked. Concrete is now being used more than ever. In China, where new cities rise every year, they've used more than six billion tons in the last three years alone. That's more than the US has used in a century. And Jonkers hopes his concrete could be the start of a new age of biological buildings. It is combining nature with construction materials. So nature is, uh, is uh, supplying us a lot of functionality for free. So I think it's a really nice example of trying nature and the built environment together in one new concept.